Hey YouTube, welcome back to the African Allure Outdoors. It is Sunday afternoon to all the fathers out there in this world. Happy Father's Day. I hope your family spoiled you as much as mine did. I was very fortunate to spend some very quality time with my wife and kids today. So it was fantastic. But anyway, first thing we want to get into is a success story for the week. So have a look at this success story. Unfortunately, this fellow had to go back to uh, Varsity and the very next night somebody got lucky on his bait site. It's a bait site that he established watching my videos. So I'm chuffed for him. Your success to me means more than my own success. Um, so have a look at the picture. Okay, so welcome back. So today I'm going to be talking to you about bush pigs and when they come in, how jumpy actually is a bush pig. You know, we're fortunate in Africa that our pigs, unlike in um, Europe and in the US, our pigs don't have a shield or the males don't have a shield. For those of you South Africans that don't know what a shield is, on the European pigs and the European wild boars and that sort of thing, the males get a big sheet of grizzle around their shoulders and neck areas that can be up to an inch thick. And it's incredibly hard substrate to penetrate, both with uh, bullets and with arrows. And uh, we're fortunate that we don't have that. Uh, our warthogs are certainly relatively soft. Um, our bush pigs are a little bit hard, um, harder than that. But anyway, I'm going to show you a clip quickly and I want you to have a look at this clip. And this is typical bush pig behavior. And uh, then we'll talk a little bit more after you've seen the clip about actually shooting a bush pig with a bow. So watch this clip.
Okay, so now you're back from the clip. And you'll see very typical behavior of a bush pig coming into a bait or coming into a rock pile with bait under it is they come in face forward. And somebody actually made a very good comment and I thought it was quite appropriate is they said that you don't want to take a frontal shot on a bush pig or a warthog for that matter because you have this big sheet of bone that comes in front of you. And your target becomes exceptionally small, it becomes exceptionally difficult to, um, to, to hit that target you know you can get lucky but you must remember that when a pig is standing broadside your your target is about eight inches which for me is about the size of my hand it's, it's approximately that big you know give or take and you must remember that a lot of our pigs are renowned string jumpers so you've got a, a target that's eight inches that is now possibly ducking rolling turning uh, and now you're wanting to try and shoot it from the front it becomes a little bit difficult in, in, in many cases. And uh, as, as, that, as that friend of mine put it, he said that you have a big sheet of bone that comes in front there. And then it starts getting tricky. Especially for guys that are shooting fast light arrows, um, penetrating that bone is very difficult. You will have seen one of my old videos. I'll link the description up. Uh, sorry, I think it's this side actually. I'll link it up here where I actually got, uh, I did a frontal shot. But it's not a great shot. It went in in the neck here. It, it went right through. But, you know, I shoot very high poundage, heavy arrows. So I've got the penetration and the the confidence to, to take a shot. But I don't advise headshots. I don't advise frontal shots. I don't even advise quartering two shots. You know, to be able to punch through those big bones here in the shoulder is, is very difficult and very challenging. And you're going to end up wounding stuff, which is, in the first place, not really ethical. And the second thing is, is that you're going to be sitting with a, a long follow-up and possibly paying for something that you don't recover. So don't take frontal shots. Now, the other thing is as well, is that you must remember that when an animal is broadside, you've got an 8-inch target. Now it faces you and your target all of a sudden goes from 8 inches, it goes to approximately half of that. Because now your lungs are sitting towards you, your vital areas are much smaller, you know, so you've all of a sudden gone to a four inch target. And now you've got four inches that can potentially roll this way, roll that way, it can duck, or it can, it can, you know, it's, it's basically just string jumping. So I think the big thing is, is not to get clever with these things. Rather wait for the shot. Um, the footage was taken by David Hine with a bush pig that we harvested two weeks ago. I'll put that link up here as well for you guys, if those guys that haven't seen it, and you can watch. But the behavior that you see before he takes a shot is very typical of bush pig behavior on a rock pile. And, you know, fortunately that this footage was taken during the day and not at night. Because this is what happens at night. Those things run in, they roll one or two rocks and they run out. And then they come back in and they're facing you and then they run out. And then they run towards you. It's, a, it's, it's an absolute baboon show. And then you've got to try and hit this target that's eight inches. Your buck fever is absolutely skyrocketing through the roof. And you've got to try and find your peep in the night. And uh, I'll do another video on, on the peep in a while. But you'll, you'll find that guys will either use the hole just above the, the V, just above the peep, or just below the peep. Just because basically in the heat of the moment, um, the moment just gets too big for them. And... Uh, they lose it. So people just don't take frontal shots. It's nice to see this footage of a bush pig during the day because I can't tell you how many times I've been in a tree stand at night and I've watched this behavior and it's very, very typical of them. Coming in, knocking a few rocks around, running out. And I tell you, all you want to do is you just want to put an arrow in there and you've got to be patient. And to give David Hine credit, he was very, very, very patient with that whole that that whole pig hunting exercise there so anyway thanks for watching the video i hope it gives you a little bit of uh, insight as to um typical bush pig behavior around a feed site uh, it certainly makes the heart pump anyway please remember to like and subscribe and tune into the next one cheers folks